One thing that I think was something that I learned as a skater and brought into my painting was the idea of rhythm and never-ending line. And uh, probably if I'd been a boxer, I would have painted like this and very geometrically. But um, with skating, the wonderful thing is you have movement without movement. And when I skate, I never end something. I always like skate and I move. And, and my painting is the same. I just love a never-ending line that just keeps going and going and going. And, and that um, is really because of my, uh, my skating. Here's Cranston at his most imaginative, combining his art and his skating in a TV production called Strawberry Ice. His paintings came to life on screen, and he became a character in their fantasy world. With this particular show, which was uh, very autobiographical, something that certainly uh, was, the, was the main theme was the artist becoming the victim of the fantasy. There's no doubt that I am a victim of my fantasy. Toller Cranston brought fresh ideas and new life to the world of skating. But in World Olympic competition, he also, in a sense, was a victim of his fantasies. For a long while, the judges didn't accept his flamboyant style, his highest finish in world or Olympic competition being an Olympic bronze. We asked what effect the lack of a gold medal had on him. One thing about not winning a medal has done for me is that it has kept my career um, going and I've tried a lot harder than all the other contemporaries that competed at the same time because I still had something to prove. Certainly a John Curry, a Dorothy Hamill, Peggy Fleming, they don't have to prove themselves to anybody because there's the golden medal and they've got it and they were Olympic champion and that's a mighty big title. But for myself, like Janet Lynn, we still have something to say. We still have something to prove. And with this competition, I'm actually allowed to uh, to sort of pit my abilities one more time. And although I'm older, it's as though time has stopped and I've been given that one more chance. Well, with that one more chance, he's still been proving things earlier in the year on the Pro Skate Tour. He had three firsts and a second. Now, the International Professional Figure Skating Championships, Toller Cranston. combination showed the class that Toller Cranston has. A triple jump right into a beautiful stag in his own inimitable style. He really is, in my opinion, not only a classy performer, but a superb technician and just a marvelous overall great skater of all time. There's a whole generation, though, that may not know Toller Cranston and what he did for the sport. Six-time Canadian champion, the numbers and everything. But here's the other things. Member of the Ontario Sports Hall of Fame, Canadian Sports Hall of Fame, Canadian Figure Skating Hall of Fame, Order of Canada, Walk of Fame. Yet Toller Cranston didn't do it for any of that stuff. And some people liked his style, some people didn't like his style, whether it was skating or whether it was broadcasting or storytelling. The thing about Toller is you couldn't ignore him. Absolutely not, and he took a rather staid at times sport, and he made it come alive. He was electric. It was so exciting um, to watch, and it, he had a universal appeal. It certainly wasn't just here in Canada. As Brian Orser said, he changed the sport worldwide.